All right, so this is my grade seven tech course, and you can see under materials, I have um, a bunch of stuff here. And the first thing we're gonna look at is assignments. So I'm just gonna go in and show you one of my completed assignments. I'll go to the first assignment I made, just to give you an idea of what it looks like. Here you can see I put a big description, um, I attached a file, and I attached a bunch of photos, which are um, just little picture files that explain how to do something. Uh, I wrote under the comment section that students should try and use this section to ask each other questions. Um, and it looks like they didn't really ask any other, each and other any questions, but they put some stuff. But this is where I would hope they would try and help each other and clarify what they're supposed to be doing. So I can see on the right here who has um, submitted the assignments on time and who is late. I can also see the mark they got on this assignment. I can even change this to see just the people who are on time, just the people who are late, and uh, those who did not submit it. So that's what this assignment looks like. I'm going to go back to assignments, and here is another one, just so you can get a feeling for what they look like. So here again, I described what I wanted them to do. I um, attached a file that they could use as a starting point. Um, I attached a link to a YouTube video that they could click and watch. So here it's opening up in another tab, and they could watch this video to get an idea of what they could do. Uh, and then I asked them to use the comment section in this particular assignment to discuss ways in which they could complete the assignment. So here they all threw in their different ideas. And the reason I had them do that uh, is so that they could get uh, um, basically brainstorm an idea for their assignment and then sort of pick and choose what they wanted to do to complete the assignment so that all of them had a lot of different ideas to choose from. Again, I can see who's on time on the right hand side. So let me go back to assignments and what I'm going to do, actually I'm going to go all the way back to materials, so I'll click here on, and I'm going to add a new assignment so I can show you how to create one. So I say add assignment and I give it a name. So let's call this uh, new assignment and I can give it a description. And I can enable the Dropbox. What that means is it lets students hand in their work through Schoology. So if you were doing something on paper or something in the physical world that is impossible to hand in digitally, then you don't want to use the Dropbox. But for me in tech, everything I do is digital, so I'm going to enable that. And here's a maximum number of points. Uh, it can be, I usually leave this as 100. It makes it easier to understand as a percent. Um, I give it a due date and a due time if you want to. Uh, and then I can give it a category. For mine, I only have a few categories set up. We'll talk about how to set up these categories um, a little bit later. So I might say this is a small assignment. And I can even change my grading options. I can set what term it's in. Uh, here I can choose um, is it numeric? Do I want to give them a grade that's an A, B, C? Do I want to give them MYP levels? I can do that too. And this last thing is a factor. So this is like a weighting. So we've all discussed in our departments what we should weight things. So if this assignment was the type of assignment we'd weight as a 5, I would do that. Or a 10, I could do that as well. And that means it's going to be worth that much more in the grade book. There's also some advanced options here uh, where we can have it show grade statistics. Uh, we can enable comments or turn them off. I always leave them on because I think it's a super place for students to have a discussion about or to ask questions about the assignment and answer it for each other. And I can turn off this publish to students and show to students thing. Um, I can turn it off and just turn it on when I'm ready for them to do it. But let's assume I'm ready for them to do it, so I'll keep that checked and then I say create. So then you can see there's a new thing here. On the right hand side you can see there's a new assignment that's been created. And the students will see that too. So when they come in they can say, oh I have a new assignment and it's due at 11.59 p.m. tomorrow on June 13th. And they can click it and they'll see 
uh, they have a new assignment. Hopefully it's usually more descriptive than this. One thing I didn't show you is, actually, why don't I show you how to edit it? So let's say I've added something here. I'm not happy. I want to change something. I go into the assignment, which right now is called New Assignment. I click here, and I just say Edit. So let's say I meant to attach a file. I go ahead and find that file on my computer. In this case, it's an Excel file, and I attach it. I might also put a link to something here. So let's say I'm browsing the web, and I find a really great link. Let's just use Elmwood's link here. I can copy the URL at the top. And back here in Schoology, I just paste the link and say, um, read this before completing the assignment. Attach. So I've got a link attached, I have an Excel spreadsheet attached. Maybe in this particular assignment I want them to download the Excel spreadsheet and modify some stuff before uploading it uh, back to submit the assignment. So I'm going to hit save. So you can see right now my Dropbox is completely empty on the side. No one has handed anything in. But if I was a student, so I'm just going to go in as a student here so you can see what this assignment looks like as a student. Oops back one, sorry about that. So I'm going to go in as a student, so I'm going to preview the course as a student here, and you can see this is what it looks like. Oh, I've got a new assignment. They go click in to do it. They download the Excel file. They ask any questions they might have down here, and then uh, they submit it to the Dropbox. Now, there's usually a button here, and I guess because I'm not actually logged in as this person, I can't do it but uh, they would click a button and upload their file to submit it. Um, once you give it a mark, the mark shows up to the student, so they can see it right there. So if they ever forget what they received on an assignment, they can always go back into Schoology and find their mark. It's pretty cool. So that is how you create an assignment. Now, you can create graded discussions as well, but you don't need to create them as a separate assignment, and I'll show you how to do that next.